I am suspicious of the, of the bill that's currently before Congress, and that is this. Just a couple of months ago, these same people were telling us, everything's fine, don't worry, the market will take care of the bad actors, we need more deregulation. Two weeks ago, they were saying, oh, don't worry, we just bailed out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, we just bailed out AIG, everything's fine. And now suddenly, last week, they're saying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. If we don't get this bill passed this week, chaos will, will reign. And then it didn't get passed last week, and then it comes to this week. And it's like, okay, well, if it doesn't pass Tuesday or Monday, it's all going to come crashing down on us. And now they're saying, okay, it failed, but we got to pass it this week. We can't wait. We can't wait. I think consumers have a right to be a little suspicious about what's getting, as Ed put it, jammed down their throat and say, just slow down for a minute. Is okay, we got a problem. I'm not going to deny there's a problem that needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Credit markets mm -hmm. drying up is going to affect the consumer. It's not just a bailout mm -hmm. of Wall Street. But, but let's look at it carefully and be sure we're, we're, we've got other options and we've looked at them and we've carefully considered them and know the sky is not falling this week. Part of what got us into this mess isn't you know greedy homeowners wanting to refinance when they can't afford it. A lot of what got us into this mess are the people that st should still be held accountable. The, the mortgage lenders, the predatory mortgage lenders that preyed on people, mm -hmm. the rating companies that, mm -hmm. uh, that gave AAA ratings to worthless stock, the that, CEOs right. that, that you know, took their profits and left. I mean, if there's one principle that ought to guide this bailout, it ought to be those that reap the benefits ought to suffer the losses. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe just throwing $700 billion of taxpayer money at this problem is, is necessarily the best answer. We need to look at options that get at the people that cause this. I think we also need to look at debt relief because, you know, when you, when you take a homeowner who can't afford their mortgage for whatever reason, and instead of forcing them into foreclosure uh, and selling it at a fire sale, if you restructure that debt with them, it it not only keeps them in their home, it also actually increases the value of the security. I am in foreclosure. All I need is my loan modified and rate fixed. The bank won't do it. So I am left now to pay for their bailout, as is everybody else, and get kicked out of my home. Okay, so wasn't there a provision in, in one of the original drafts that would allow a judge to write down uh, or adjust a rate on a mortgage? Yes, that, and that's that's out now, right? Yeah, that was a uh, the, given the bankruptcy judges the uh, the the power to right. do that. that's out. But this person is so right. There's a myth out there that you know banks don't want loans to go into foreclosure mortgages. Uh, as a matter of fact, they they often push them into foreclosure, and if people could just get their loans modified. But they can't get the bank to answer the phone. The, the story this person just told, we hear this every day by the scores of people that are wanting to pay, are wanting to pay, but they can't afford the mortgage that they currently have and they would like it to be restructured. They can't get the bank to answer their calls. And if we now come in and say, don't worry, the federal government will guarantee uh, any mortgage that goes into foreclosure, what do you think is going to happen? The, you, won't even, you will never get the bank to pick up the phone because they just assume let it go into foreclosure, let the government pay them and go home.